Hey guys, welcome to this channel. We're gonna do a quick video, hopefully under five minutes, of um, uh, getting time and date into your logic. So to do that, we're gonna use an instruction called get system variable, and we'll start right here. Um, just type in GSV, and it's gonna populate it right there. And if you wanna keep uh, entering text, we can use a drop menu. So first step, scroll down here to wall clock time you're gonna skip instance attribute date time and right here we're gonna make a, a tag and we'll just call it example date time okay now if you look up the uh, instructions um, on how to use a, a GSV for a wall clock time. It's going to tell you that you need to have um, an array of seven dents and the first dent will be year, month, day, hour, minute, seconds, and microseconds. So we're going to make sure that this is an array of seven. Okay, I'll show you what that looks like if you're not familiar with it. Alright, there we go. This is going to go to our local tags create there and the other thing we're going to do is to make this work we have to drop down and we have to there we go we have to select the first one and that's going to fill in with the year first so uh, bear with me and we'll see how this drops in okay it likes it now we're going to see 2021 matches my year and we'll go monitor this and see how the rest of it fills in. So we come down here to our tags. Here is our example date time tag we made with our, an array of seven. Here is our year, month, day, hour, military, minutes, seconds, microseconds. So I'll fumble up on that. Now, to make this even easier, if you know that you're going to be using this throughout maybe your logic, we'll come back over here, we'll just make a second one, drop this in here, type GSV, okay. Now, we'll select the same thing, wall clock, date time. Now instead of making a new uh, tag with an array of seven, we'll actually make a user-defined data type. Now I'll follow my mouse over here. I'd already made one right here and I called it date time. Now what you would do is you would create a new data type and walk through it real quick and I won't save it. So to emulate what I created over there, we would go date time. If I can type today. And we would start uh, populating this area year and it's going to be a dent we'll just make this a little easier do a old control C month day hour Okay, so I entered in the data type. So as you can see, this would be an array of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, okay? And we could add a description, uh, such and such up here, all right? Now, if I hadn't already created the, the date time user defined prior to this video, I would hit apply and okay. And this data type would be uh, available for me to select. But I'll go cancel, and I'll click on the date time user defined data type over here and show you that I kind of already had this going on here. Now you can expand this description for each sort of um, uh, dent data type, but we really don't have to. I, I think it's pretty straightforward. So we'll cancel out of here and we will make a new tag and we can just call this um, 
example. Uh, UDT, how about user defined data type? Okay, and we'll come over here and I will type in my user defined data type name, date, date time right there. Uh, and it is going to be in my local tags for this. Click OK. Now I'm sure you have to drop over here and pick the first double integer in there. So drop it down. So don't panic if that if you see the red line. Okay, we're good. Boom. All right. Looks like it's looking just like the one above, and it gave us some uh, documentation up top. So come over here, go to monitor, we'll check that tag out. And there it is, there's our user defined data type that we just made together. And this time it actually you know, has a little bit of a direction of what each integer is doing. So year, month, day, you know, so it can kind of correspond over here. So that's pretty much all there is to that. Um, I guess we're at six minutes right now. So, you know, if you just wanted to execute some logic, just real quick, you know, we can pop one of these on here. Um, maybe do a where you at? Uh, we're gonna do a little compare. And maybe we'll just do an equal. You know, we can probably pick this year for example. You know, twenty twenty two. Uh, maybe uh, just execute something. There we go. So basically, what we can do here is whenever this hits 2022, quick logic, obviously, you know, you can use this however. Now, whenever uh, that year hits 2022, it's going to execute whatever event, event in your uh, logic. So I want to wrap this up two minutes ago, but I showed you kind of two variations one with the user defined data type. Don't be intimidated about those if you're familiar, if you're not familiar with them. Shoot me a message if you want to know more about user defined data types. Other than that, there's the wall clock. I guess one last thing to, if your time's not right, make sure you come down to your controller. Should have said this first. Come over here to date time and then set it off your workstation. Um, if you're kind of asking about this, I'm guessing you're not using uh, any time synchronization stuff. So uh, let me know. Questions below. Thanks, guys.